Hello, I'm Neil with Picard and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing my two pairs of my Jack and Jones jeans that I bought for the week. Um, the reason for the review being on this channel, even though it's a, a cycling channel really, is that lots of those cyclists have very large thighs um, and very narrow waist, so it often means sizing up at the waist to get a thigh that will fit. And I used to be a big lover of Levi's, and as many of you know, I get very attached to things, which is why I usually wear my trousers until they're falling off my body. Um, these are my old 501s, and they are trash. Oh, I do still wear them. Um, and when these started to die at the beginning of this year, I knew I had to start the hunt for a new pair of jeans because. It can take a long time to find the exact cut. Even the same cut of jeans in two different colours can actually fit differently. I find that a paler denim, which I do prefer, because I don't like feeling all dark and emo, and a lot of you know that. Um, but a lighter colour of denim can be a lot stiffer and a bit tighter on the waist. So I went out and I bought these. These are the 501 Skinny jeans from Levi and uh, they look really nice until the other day when the crotch ripped. Now I don't use my jeans for commuting or anything like that but yeah really obsessed about these and really sad but I will repair them uh, with patches but I'm not happy and I'm not the first person to notice that the quality of Levi's is a bit nowadays. Uh, so, I went out and I literally, I must have tried on 12 pairs of jeans, I spent all day looking at jeans, and in the end, I bought some Jack and Jones jeans. The, the sizing on these jeans is on the inside here, next to the fly. They are a button fly, which I like a lot. I think it's a bit more flattering for a man. Um, I think that zip flies can give a bit of an awkward bulge if you... Uh, if you're that way inclined but yeah I really like them they also came with a, a duffel bag when I bought the jeans actually came with a a reflective duffel bag as a as kind of a carrier bag which is cool but yeah I tried uh, Lee jeans which gave me an even flatter backside than I already have um, I tried Levi's I tried Pepe's I tried G Star Raw which were weird um, I tried a bunch of jeans and none of them were quite right except for these and at the time I was so flustered I actually walked away and didn't buy anything and then I went back the next day after I'd had a think about it but yeah these are these are really nice jeans I really like them so everyone these are the tin slim fit jeans um, I like the colour I, I genuinely go for paler jeans as you saw before um, I don't like to feel all emo -y and dark, but I actually quite like these. Um, they're well stitched and they're all double stitched everywhere. And uh, they've got generous pockets on the back, they've got generous pockets on the front. And they're quite elastic, but they're not super elastic. Um, they're not like commuter jeans, but you could easily ride your bike in these if you were so inclined. Uh, although, unlike a pair of, say, Resolute, Je Resolute Bay jeans, they don't have reflective surfaces, obviously, because they're just regular jeans. But you can easily, like, you can easily walk upstairs and stuff, which in a lot of slimmer fit jeans and a lot of skinnier fit jeans you can't. And I actually have a decent amount of room for my thighs. Which is, uh, which is quite a surprise, it's very comfy. And I don't have to wear a belt with them, um, which is unheard of. Like even with some 31s, I have to wear a belt. Uh, but they, yeah, these are super, super comfy. These are the Glen Slim Fit. Now, as you can tell, these are a lot skinnier than the other pair that I tried on. But um, I wanted two different cuts for the test, but I also, wanted a difference in my jeans. Um, these are a 31, 32. The sizing as you can see is there. And 
incredibly comfy, the light leggings. In fact, when I came home from shopping, I put these on. Um, they're lovely and comfy. And for a pair of skinny jeans, they, they fit and they've, they've got a little bit of stretch to them. These are a slightly lighter colour, a slightly more worn in colour. Um, but I do like them. They fit very well on the bum. They have smaller pockets at the front and the rear pockets are smaller as well, unfortunately. But that's part of having a very skinny pair of jeans. Um, and again, I wouldn't hesitate to, to ride my bike in these, to be honest. They are stretchy, they aren't going to replace my bib shorts anytime soon. But if I had to nip to see a friend or whatever, I would definitely just jump on the bike in these and not think about it twice. They do feel like denim, even though they've got a bit of stretch in which in my experience in the past, all pairs of jeans that have a bit of stretch to them all feel like leggings and I, I hate that. I want a pair of jeans that feel like jeans that feel like denim and these definitely do that. Um, I buy all my jeans to a length that fits my boots because I tend to wear boots and most days be the monkey boots or be the, the zip up boots or whatever most of my most of my shoes are ankle boots so I've got a pair of uh, brogues and a couple of pairs of oxfords but other than that I pretty much wear boots every single day uh, so most of my jeans reflect that um, but yeah I like the length and I like everything about them really and they do do half sizes, it's not just a 30 then a 32, like I say these are 31, 32, 31 waist, 32 leg, the other ones are 32, 32, and it just shows that sizing is very dependent on cut, but both fit me and both are very nice, so whichever cut you are and whichever cut you prefer, um, I suggest tr trying this brand out, trying these jeans out. If you like them, go get yourself a pair. Uh, they're very true to size, very comfortable. And I think, even though I can't give a true consensus as to, to their lifespan until they eventually fall off my body, I think these will wear a lot better than the Levi's did. Um, I like them a lot more. And they were about they're about 20 or 30 euros cheaper per pair than my 501s were, so that's a saving there. Um, and Christmas is coming up, and if you have a cyclist in your life that needs a pair of jeans because we're all built like Tyrannosaurus Rexes and, uh, and can never find jeans, then check these out, try these out. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there, stay seen, stay comfy and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.